By the time you get to the fourth shavening essay, you're just so glad that you've at least done 75% of the essays. That's if you've been going at it chronologically. The career plan essay is an essay that showcases your career plan in the short, mid and long term. In this video, we're going to discuss your career plan essay. Just like in the previous videos, we have some housekeeping rules. This is not a passive video. Get your pen and paper or typing device and follow along. Also pause the video when requested to think through the discussion. The main plan is to have a draft by the end of this video. So go ahead, pause the video, get your pen and paper or typing device to follow along. Now that we have our pen and paper or typing device, we'll get straight to the question. So the question reads, Shevening is looking for individuals who have a clear post study career plan please outline your immediate plans upon returning home and your longer term career goals you may wish to consider how these relate to what the uk government is doing in your country step one read the shavening common mistakes the link to this will be in the description box however we'll also see them here when sharing your career plans shavening advises that you need to give real thought to how you intend to make the most of the opportunity to study a master's degree with a uk's university Share detailed examples of your short, mid and long term career goals. You'll get extra points if you can link your career goals with any of the UN's 17 Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. Also, make sure your goals are ambitious but realistic. Walk the assessors through a clearly defined plan for achieving them. Outstanding applicants demonstrate real enthusiasm about making a long lasting positive contribution to their home countries and have clear ideas about how to achieve it. Steer away from describing motivations to pursue a master's degree only as a stepping stone to studying for a PhD. With the advice shavening common mistakes, we now get to step two. With step two, I advise that you break down the question so you can easily digest it. So take a few seconds to break down the question and come back and let's break it down together and learn from each other. In breaking down this question, we see that Shevening is looking for individuals who have a clear post-study career plan. Then we're requested to outline our immediate plans upon returning home and longer term career goals and you may wish to consider how these relate to what the UK government is doing in your country. Again, for step three, maintain a theme. Maintain the theme that you have carried out in your first, second, and third essay. So now back to the practical steps. Make some bullet points. For your introduction, think of starting strong and address your passion or areas of concern or the theme that you have selected in the previous essays. Again, stay consistent to the theme. For your body, make a clear plan and breakdown into short, mid-term and long-term goals. Ensure each breakdown is contributing to your long-term goals. Then ensure that your career goals align or address your stated concern or support your passion that you referred to in your essay theme. As you conclude, end strong by tying back to your introduction. We'll delve deeper into this in the practical essay example. Before we go to step five, take a minute to just make some bullet points that address your introduction body and conclusion for step five construct raw sentences from the bullet points that you had previously come up with now going to a practical comparison we have real person a and real person b real person a a is an applicant, real person B is someone who has achieved the Shevening scholarship. So real person A states in their introduction that in Uganda, women in business uh, has been a developing phenomenon over the years. A report released by Mastercard in 2017 shows that 34.8% of the businesses in Uganda are owned by women, many of which struggle to survive. Marketing is a great professional vehicle for achieving long-term goals and with this I'll be able to help build strategy for women in small-scale businesses and increase their knowledge base in communication and analyzing their target market. As a nation, we have come a long way in recognizing the capabilities of women in our community and I am currently and intend to continue my acquired skills to empower women in the marketplace, uh, women who have the potential to thrive in business. Real Person A seems to state some good facts, however, we don't see the career plan Real Person A has. Now with Real Person B, they write, my current work involves analyzing and monitoring the effectiveness of business processes, enhancing cross-functional coordination of systems and proposing enhancements to the integrated systems. 
this immensely contributes to the collecting revenues for the country and aligns with the sustainable development goal 17 which emphasizes the need to strengthen domestic resource mobilization strategies in the developing countries to improve domestic capacity for revenue collection the uk government is also helping uganda overcome its slow growth rates by supporting the government's capacity to increase domestic revenues this will reduce uganda's growing dependence on external sources of finance and transit from aid Real Person B definitely covers some of the tips that Shevenin gave us. Uh, Real Person B speaks of sustainable development goals, speaks about what the UK is doing in Uganda, and also we are able to see the current work that Person B is doing. And it's no brainer that Person B actually got the Shevening Award. Now to conclude, we will have our essay example of the dearest Nelson Mandela. Let's say he wanted to apply for an MA in Peace, Resilience and Social Justice at University of Bradford. Again, for consistency, our theme would be freedom. So his introduction could be something like, I believe that no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love, for love comes from naturally to the human heart than its opposite. My immediate plan upon completing my immediate plan upon completing my masters will be to spend six months building the capacity of the fellow freedom fighters at African National Congress by sharing my experience and skills from the best practices from the UK through live session webinars and articles. My focus will mostly be on how to attain peace in a changing world in order to address the ever-changing dynamics of leadership and society. For my midterm plans, I intend to contribute to the policies through increased advocacy for the rights of the black people in Africa, which aligns with the SDG 17 that focuses on promoting peaceful and inclusive societies for development. My long-term plan is to grow into the leadership role that will provide the opportunity for me to bring change to the laws that support apartheid in South Africa. I intend to do this by continuing to create awareness against apartheid and run for the president office in the first general elections in the country in which citizens of all races will be allowed to vote. Clearly, we see that with this essay, there's been a clear breakdown of the immediate career goal, medium and long-term goals. There's been an inclusion of the SDG, which indicates an understanding of the SDGs. And we see that but in the long term, Nelson Mandela plans to run for the president office, which can be realistic in the long term plan given his level of experience. This would not be considered as a far-fetched goal. For the conclusion, he writes, to date, I have been recognized as one of the best known black political figures in the country and I look forward to returning back to South Africa with the advanced knowledge to fight for freedom. And just like that, we have seen what possibly Nelson Mandela could have written. A lot of this was just a collection of some of the things I've seen him do through different articles and came up with this essay. Now the last essay, which is usually the most confused, chaotic, hmm? <laughs> chaotic essay you will find, and probably the one that people bomb the most, is the career plan. Now, this career plan essay says Shivning is looking for individuals who have a clear post-study career plan. Please outline your immediate plans upon returning home and your longer-term career goals. You may wish to consider how this relates to what the UK government is doing in your country. Now, I need to emphasize the, the last part of that essay because that's the part all of us forget. Consider how your goals relate to what the UK government is doing in your country. Why is it important for you to consider how those relate to what the UK government is doing in your country? A scholarship is an investment in you. With every investment, no one invests to make a loss. Everyone invests to make a return. So if the UK government is going to send you to the UK, pay your tuition, because shivening is a full scholarship. Everything is paid for, and by everything I mean everything, which means it's quite an investment in you. Okay, so now in this one, this essay is where we need to see whether you are someone worth investing in or whether you are lost. Okay, this is the essay that tells the person reading it, is this person an investment that is going to bring returns or is this a loss we shouldn't bother? 
Okay. Now, they said consider the UK government is doing in your country. How then does the UK government get back its investment as made in? It has to see what the things is doing in this country. So, for example, you could I'll use I'll use law because I'm a lawyer by profession. So it could be the UK is investing, for example, let's say through the Democratic Governance Facility, they are investing in, in rule of law and access to justice. Okay, so it is very easy for me to justify. <laughs> this is for me to justify what the UK is doing in my country because I have a project I can tie my qualifications to. Or it could be that they are investing in sanitation. Okay, so you so you need to look at you need to go on, online and see what projects is the UK investing in in this country. You can tie it to sustainable development goals. Some of us are hearing SDG for the first time. SDG stands for sustainable development goals. So we need to know which of, for example, you can look at yourself and say in this UN, you this UN SDGs which, of the 17, which one, for example, do I do I fall under? Okay, and if you don't know the UN, the UN SDGs, now you know them. The first one, no poverty. There's one on hunger, ending global hunger. There's one on good health and well-being, which doctors can tie on to. There's quality education. There's gender equality. There's gender and sanitation. There is sustainable communities, reducing inequality, industry, innovation, and infrastructure. There is one on affordable and clean energy. Uh, there is one on uh, climate action. There is one on peace, justice, and strong institutions. So, th so there are many SDGs. There are 17 in total. Okay. So you want to look at of the SDGs, where can I tie myself? Because your course needs to make sense. I know we like studying things, but what you're studying needs to make sense because it's easier for people to give you their money if the things you're studying make sense, but also there are things for which you can see a return on investment. Okay. So let's go back to answering our essay. So this essay required us to outline our immediate plans immediate and then long term which means that this essay has to address both things if you address one and not the other you failed this essay okay so the first thing is immediate okay what what are you going to do after you finish studying if you tell us that you're going to do a phd that is the first that is your first way to know that you've failed that essay because remember, Shevin, he told you you have to return home for two years. So if your first immediate goal is to do a PhD, you found that as the end of story period. So some of these things, people write them without thinking about them, but be wise. Think about it. Oh, yeah, you may want to do a PhD. There, there are other ways to do that. Don't put that in your essay that you're going to do a PhD because you're required to go back home for two years. So maybe if you're saying you're going to do a PhD in Uganda, but even then, I don't think Shevin spent its money give you its money for you to end up doing a phd okay so in answering this question i'm going to add something in the in the chat section that i want you if you forget everything about this essay i want you to remember this acronym smart okay when you're writing this last essay i want you to remember smart what does smart stand for s stands for specific you need to know what you're going to do with your life. No one is going to invest 50,000 pounds for you to come back to your country and think about what you want to do, okay? Specific, we need to know what are you trying to do? Are you, is your immediate career plan coming back to Uganda and starting a consultancy focused on sanitation and hygiene for, for remote communities? Specific, don't confuse us by just saying eh, technical terms that no one understands. People will know you're confusing them the career plan has to be specific okay specific that is the s the m stands for measurable we need to be able to measure your career plan. you just can't come up with career plans that you know you're just there right eh? you're currently let's say by the time you get the shevening scholarship for example let's say you're a front desk officer okay you just can't suddenly say my career plan on returning from the UK, I'm going to be the head of the department. In which world? In which world do you get a, do you get a promotion from front desk office at head of department? And that brings us to A, attainable. Is your career plan attainable or are you selling us hot air? And people can tell when you're selling them hot air, okay? Is it attainable? Is it something that we look at and say it is attainable, yeah? your front desk office and your career plan you're going to be the president stop dreaming it is good to go to church but do not bring dreams into the essays 
okay you won't come from being from desk office and then immediate goals I, I dream about being the president of uganda it is good to dream but your dream is not attainable for purposes of this essay that we are writing and the t the r is relevant if we, if the uk has invested money in you for public health you can't just that your career your, your long term your short or long term career goal is such a consultancy in interior designing how is that relevant to the amount of money that was invested in you okay r relevant and t time bound don't don't just confuse us there you just write an entire essay that doesn't have breakdowns I, uh, my career plans are to be the minister in charge of finance of uh, uh, the government of uganda and the president in what in in in, in, in what world and in what time frame okay career goals the same way we plan for our lives where you say in two years time i'll be married then three years later i'll have my first born it is the same way this essay needs to look it needs to be broken down we need to see the immediate goals and then we need to see the long-term goals but we also need to know how this funding is going to help you achieve those goals okay if people cannot see that they know that you're selling them hot air and let me tell you those people have read these essays every single year since shavening started like 50 years ago so they know that you're selling them hot air okay if your career plan is very poorly developed and they cannot even discern how the scholarship is going to help you you will not get the scholarship okay so it is important that it your career plan is smart specific measurable attainable relevant time bound now we've come to the end of the video but not the end of our interactions in the comment section below let me know what is your career plan what is your short-term goal your long-term goal your medium-term goal let's discuss until next time remember it might be hard but not impossible